Hello, welcome to the Top Table. Tonight, we will be discussing questions that you submitted through our Facebook. And um, to my left, I have Zachary Everest. To my right, I have Kevin Kinney. And uh, you know, um, let's see, Madison Regionals just got over. Yep. Um, Mexico Regionals is coming up. And um, we also we'll had Brigham Regionals, I believe. Yeah, Brigham yeah, Regionals yeah. went over. Um, so we'll discuss that a little bit tonight. But first, let's wind up and let's dip right on <laughs> in. Start this one off hot. Woo, I got a good one here. The Super Rod Cast on it. Twitter asks. Does Metagross GX have the ability to see success moving forward now that it is a known quantity? I feel like that's a little bit of a rhetorical question. Like they they already knew. <laughs> they, are, they already know. They already know it's going to be good. Uh, 250 HP. Attach an entry from your discard. It, it's busted. It's busted. It, as long as you can set it up right, like it, with how slow that the game is moving right now, being able to set up turn two with rare candy or whatever. Your goal, as long as you're making your sets very consistent and being able to see the cards you need. Yeah, but I mean, is, is it going to see success moving forward? Is Espeon G EX now a thing? Is Are you going to be miraculously shining these um, rare candies and devolving them and knocking out uh, Beldums or even making them dig through their deck, find another rare candy or possibly a Matang where most builds are only running two Matangs? I mean, how do you feel about this? Uh, I think people are just gonna play more hex. Like the yeah. good players, more hex. No, hex is how you beat a lot of these stage two decks. Yeah. So you'll. It, it's just a, like if, if anything's been taught, it's what the the good players are setting the meta. The good players played Garbodor at Seattle, so it looked like Garbodor was the best. Then they played things that beat Garbodor in Madison. Now, now whatever they play in Mexico is going to set the meta. So I think they're going to play things that play Hex because it beats the things that are stage 2 decks. But. Yeah, I mean, right now the strong decks are running abilities and they're searching their deck for energy or they're moving energy from their discard and attaching it um, to the active Pokemon. Um, I mean, we got Loranus uh, promo, Sunny Day, which allows your Grass and Fire Pokemon to have 20 extra damage to them. We've got Solgaleo that allows you to um, basically retreat and put something else in the active position. I mean, you got you, Metagross, you got yeah, Pickable. you got Lunala yeah, even Lunala. that may start to be good now that decks are moving slower, where you can just load up your energy and transfer it around every turn, however you want. Yeah, I yeah. mean, um, it's getting pretty wild. So I think, like Zach said, Hex Maniac is going to be a thing. I think Espeon EX is going to be a thing. It's going to be a tech. Now maybe it's not a tech this week, but if Metagross does good and wins or top eights again. I think that a lot of people will start to tech for specific matchups against Metagross and rare, more specifically against Rare Candy. Right, yeah, no, I agree. I think a lot of people, are, I think people may switch back to Garb a little bit more now that they've seen what stuff is happening, but overall, with this being, what, the like, third, uh, like, uh, Northern, Northern America regionals that, since the sets come out, I think it's going to start rounding everything out. Like, we're going to see a decks that are hit and miss, you know, like like you're you're gonna see Garb Drampa, you're gonna see Zoroark Drampa, you're gonna see Metagross, you're gonna see Vespa Queen, you're gonna see all this stuff that's gonna be in the top because you have good players that know how to round out the decks. Like it's just, it, it, we're seeing what Pokemon wanted. I th I feel like they they wanted the deck to or the game to slow down a little bit and kind of round out the format so there wasn't one deck, two decks that are topping every single regional. So I think if everything's rounding out a little bit better and it's it's good to see, it's good to see. I mean, I think it's gonna shape up pretty much the same way. Like uh, Zach mentioned, the pros determine the meta. So right now, obviously, um, you know, Metagross is so good. So is Volcanion gonna be great coming moving forward in Mexico? Or everyone is everyone gonna play Evolutions with typing, a little right, right. Flareon in there and then maybe Maybe uh, you know, maybe they tech for Volcanion, so Garb comes back, or maybe Volcanion wins. So um, the following regionals, Water Box is now the thing. I mean, I don't know if Garb's quite ready to come back, but I think it's, I think it's uh, hasn't gone away yet. The thing I liked was I saw somebody's build on, uh, I believe it was Tumblr, the the 
the post that you sent us. You're on Tumblr, but you don't have a Facebook. Was I know I'm on Facebook. <laughs> um, I, I, I thought it was cool to see the Garb mix with Mega Ray, so you can go off with Mega Ray and then switch into Garb. It's a cool concept. I like it, but I, I feel like you know people are going to start to develop kind of tech text for certain decks. You're gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna run a 1-1. One, one. If I'm playing Psychic, I'm gonna run 1-1 one, one, Trubbish Garb. Gar this week on Bad Something Decks like by Kevin. You never know. You never know what I'm Mega Ray about. with Garbador. No, that's, dude, that top deck, that top 32. I'm not, you're know, like, I'm not, know. no, no, you can't hate But it's that. just a tech in there, you're yeah, right. It's, it's just not tech. like, it's just a tech. It's just there if you need it. Mm -hmm. um, all right, well, does anyone want to add anything else about Metagross? Awesome, love the card, love the, love the Pokemon. Uh, no joke. In every single every single video game I played, I've gotten a shiny Metagross. I think we've all like <laughs> started to respect Metagross. I think when uh, the set first came out and we were opening packs, we were like, uh, "What is this?" And we were kind of like, "Well, it has a good ability, but it's stage, stage two, two, and yeah, is it going to be is... clunky?" And at the end of the day, I think uh, we can actually wrap this up. Put it in the round file and say for sure that Metagross is a thing and it will be sticking around. Will be sticking around? 100%. All right, uh, you want to pull out the next one, Mr. Everest? Sure. Let's see what you got there. Sipping that magic juice tonight. <laughs> <coughs> Your boy Eric. Your boy Eric Your boy on Eric. Facebook. Yeah. Um, Pokemon card game, video game, or TV show, which one's the best? You asking me? Oh, I'm first. I mean, if it's me, I'm a, I gotta stick with the video game, man. As I've been playing it since I'm a baby. <clears throat> I've been playing it since the release. I will be picking up Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon because you know I, I'm a huge Pokemon fan. The reason why I play the card game is because I play the video game. You know that's. TV mm. show sucks. TV shows ah, <laughs> TV show, I watch TV the TV shows, show. TV shows. I'm on the cool. I'm watching the TV show while I play online. Yeah, all yeah. Night, no, every I, night. Like I like it. I like this X screen, y, yeah. XYZ is cool. I'm, I have Blue, yet to I have yet to watch more than two episodes of Sun and Moon, but it's it's not that bad. It's Ash bad. Is horrible. Well, like he gives away all his Pokemon for free. <laughs> it doesn't involve anything. Okay, well, we're not Ash, okay? That's not what we're doing. You well, can have, have, have a different, fa a have a different favorite character. Well, he has Greninja, and him and Greninja have a very special That was the dumbest Greninja. thing I've ever he seen in my life. He lets Greninja walk away at the end, dude. Did he really? Yeah. All right, never mind. This is so dumb. No wonder I don't watch this. Sorry if I just show. ruined that for everybody. But yeah, sorry. I'm Greninja. one episode away. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> sorry. Spoiler alert. Oh, sorry. man. Well, hey, at least All my right. guard's protected. No, all right, well, games, so, so nice. yeah, so I like the video game. Yeah. You like I don't video play game? the video game. Well, well you, you should. should. Your girlfriend plays the video game. Yeah, but I the don't play the video game. No, just, the card game. The card game yeah. is fun to me. Um, I think card game's a blast. Yeah. yeah. You can play the card game online, we'll and it's kind we'll of like a video it. game. We'll get so. you into it. <laughs> yeah, right, it is a video game. I don't online. know, but uh, we'd like to hear what you guys think, so uh, go to our... Instagram and leave a comment on your favorite Pokemon, whether it's uh, the video game, the card game, or the show itself. We and I want to know if it is your, if it is a video game, which gen of the video game you like best? The manga's probably. All right, you're awesome. gonna do this one for <laughs> us today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, manga. Here we go. Haywood Ferris from YouTube asks if we were going to the regionals in Mexico, what deck would you use? Whew. Um, if I was gonna go to Mexico and play a deck, I would probably. I mean, I think I'm most comfortable playing Garb. I love playing uh, Vika Volt, uh, Tapa Bulu, but I probably. I probably would play Volcanion. Volcanion? Yeah, okay. I okay. probably would play Volcanion. You have a reasoning behind it? Um, well, I would want to play. Um, Best Queen, but I think it's just a little bit past its time. So okay, okay. I think uh, Volcanian, if you build it right, it's fast enough, it's strong enough. Um, you can cycle through your deck quick, or you can cycle through your deck slow. You got Star Me right there to, you know, assist in your multiple Star steam ups with just two Super energies hit. in the discard. Mm -hmm. um, I think it has a lot going for it, and I think. You you know you just take that loss to Nine Tails or Waterbox, but I just don't think that those decks are 
going to be in full forces. And I think those, you know, decks are, you have to be more of a skilled player to pilot those decks correctly. Right. Well, and I also think with Metagross and Best of Queen both being the top two decks that were played, like Fire Weakness, you know, there's a lot of stuff that has Fire Weakness that's good right now. So playing it. Good choice. Yeah. I think that's a good choice. Yeah, we got it. We got to hit for weakness. What about you, Zach? What decidueye variant are you playing? <laughs> yeah, I probably like hit up Russell. Just be like, what should I play? <laughs> Come on, no. Yeah. If you had to play, if you had to pick a deck right now, besides Hans Crow Crow, no, I wouldn't play that. Yeah, I don't know what I'd play to be honest. No, I haven't been playing. Like nothing sounds good. Everything sounds bad. Everything sounds Everything's, bad. Everything is good Everything, though. I, I disagree. I just agree. I'm, uh, I miss soul meta where you just shit out damage or you or you shut them down. Rather this than this whole, uh, I don't two, know, whatever. Two, uh, two shot. Yeah, two like, shot, stage two setup. Let me get stage two. So like, yeah, he's used, to, he's used to the yeah. basics let or stage play. ones only being good. No stage two yeah. has ever been good. Let I like play. playing stage two. I love two. it. I love it. You get to play. Let me play forest. He just oh, wants yeah. to do it. He wants to play evolve. stage twos and evolve right away. Yeah. Oh, oh that's well, that sounds change. like you're playing. We got, we got like two oh, months, buddy. Three months. Three months. Wait, what deck sucks now? Uh, the Scissorite doesn't that good. suck. Like one of them made top 32. And it was just. Hey, he, to he made it ninth. Like, he got ninth like place, this, I think, like right? Too good. <laughs> top eight, maybe eighth place. Hex Maniac's gonna be like running wild in Mexico, so like. Yeah, Hex Maniac's gonna, gonna be big. gonna be bad. Hex Maniac's gonna be big. The, I mean, I could see an Espeon tech in a Decidueye build coming in clutch, but other than that, like. So the Sidra plumes, I don't see that being very prominent. No, in no, Mexico. not not going forward. I feel like a lot of hacks um, is going to come in, but but come on, just just pick one, pick one for our for yeah. our viewers. He came over to build the Sidra Zorak a little bit. No, I started playing it online. And, I don't know. There's a lot going on there. It's, it just doesn't seem good. Like we're basically playing two stage twos. Zorak breaks a stage two. I mean, you play Zorak one Zorak. Break, you if, play one Zorak break. Oh, like, that's it? Okay, yeah, okay. Well, not, no. All right, so Zach's giving up on Pokemon no, for this weekend. <laughs> he is giving up. He's waiting until Mexico Mega Scizor an is good. No, yeah, Mega Scizor. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, well, for me personally, I'm loving Tapu Bulu Vikavolt. I personally, when when the promo came out for, for Vikavolt at Pokemon, or at the League's, League, uh, yeah, the Pokemon <coughs> Leagues. I swooped up a playset and I'm using them in my deck right now. So Ooh. I think I would probably be playing Vikavolt type of Bulu. But you know, I call it, I, I personally, it's, it's a, I call it Island Guardians. It's because it runs Bad name. two Vikavolt, two, well, I'm running the three Bulu now and three Tapu Lele. But because you're using all the Tapus except the Finny. That was a horrible attempt at trying to get that name to stick. No, I like it. No, I like it. I, I call I, it I Island think, Guardians. I call it Island Guardians. That's what it is. You're playing all three of the Island Guardians that are out right now. I have no comment. That's what it is. Well, don't comment. <laughs> That's what I'm playing. Like I said. All right. All right. Well, you're playing Vickable. I'm playing Volcanian. And Black is... And uh, Black? Zach, Zach is playing... Honcho Croco. Honcho Croco. That sounds good. All right. Let's go right back in here. Dive into the little bowl of goodies and see what we got. All right. Matt underscore Paskovich from Facebook asks, in your opinion, what are the top three highest skilled decks in the game right now? So I think he wants to know what decks take the most skill to play. Uh, I think the, the biggest skill deck right now is Vespa Queen. Especially with how much Drampa, or not, not uh, Drampa, but how much Garb is out and you're you're playing 20 plus items like it doesn't matter you're not slowing down on your items you're just having to play around stuff like that so i mean if you're depending on the matchups it's it's a really good deck to win and you win consistently you you see a lot of good matchups but it's also easy to lose with the deck like you we've seen it in like our buddy cooper plays it he played it a, a lot you know and he turns around and he'll go off as a glass cannon he'll win boom boom and then he, he lose, 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 well, lose. It's I just, mean, it's I was going to pick the same deck as you for a little bit more reason, a little different reason though. It's a very hard deck to pilot. 
It's a very fun deck to play, right. but in a large field, in a you know, two-day competition, you have to make so many micro decisions. You have yeah. to manage mm -hmm. special charge, four DCEs. Mm -hmm. Is it the right time to stick them more? Yep. So, I mean, you've got so many little micro decisions that come into play that it, it's like... The more skilled you are at the game, the easier it is to make those decisions. Yeah. For someone like me who loves playing Best of Queen, sure, I could take it to a 12 or 15, maybe even a 20-man tournament and, and do fairly okay with it. But right. we're going into a tournament where I've got to play two days if I'm lucky, um, nine games if I'm not lucky. You know, it's going to be a lot more hard to manage those micro decisions. Yeah, yeah. So any, any deck that only plays 4DC takes. Uh, a different level like you have to manage your deck a lot better than something that's just had plays 15 energy there. right of course yeah 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 like, like you know you're gonna see it it's it's something that it's a it's a finite amount in the deck and you need to be able to strategize when you're gonna see it when like, you, you need to put it back super, in or your your special charge early like yeah now you know you have four dcs to play with and that's you it. have to you have four attacks. Yep. You got to make it a four attacks. You have to win the game. Yeah, because each well, turn, each turn, if they're yeah. setting up just as fast, your Pokemon's getting knocked out right away. So it's, you so know, you and, and, and you're you're you not only are you switching it to, or from from straight Vespaque, now you're adding a Zoroark because of how good it is yeah. right now, mm -hmm. and it's it's just tough because now you have to switch out. Like although you have that extra attacker, now what if? You set you set up. So you're like, okay, I'm swinging with Zoroark. I'm doing the knockouts, but then they parallel city themselves, or they do something where like, okay, your Zoroark's shit to me, yeah. like, and then now you have to go back. It's tough, but you, yeah, yeah. So the resources are limited. It, it, it's yeah, it's tough. I think that's, yeah, when it's just such a hard deck to pilot, but it it, it the reward is worth it. Yeah, when Prima I had to discard two special charges with the Sycamore on turn yeah. one, I was like, oh, he's done. Yeah. He managed to win the game, but he only managed to win the game because he was so smart in managing his energy yeah. attachments and those micro decisions that your yeah. average, even your very good player, you know, isn't going to be able to yeah, make. Yeah, like, no, just I think to pilot that deck to the to win the entire tournament was pretty amazing. Yeah, yeah. I think another deck is Sylveon. I don't think good players have even touched it. Not not in the competitive scene. Well, yeah, <clears throat> it, it, once once they decide. All right, I found the right build, and this is it. That card's good. Like anything that may lets you search your deck for three cards, it's gonna be good. It's just it's gonna take that that player, the the good players, to start playing it. No, yeah. they haven't taken to a tournament. So once we see that, that that's gonna be a good. Is player. this the week for Sylveon? Does it show up in Mexico? I, I, is that what you're playing? <laughs> Sylveon just said you are. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I definitely agree with you there. That's Sylveon is that's Sylveon the whole line is very hard to play. I you're mean, something, Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> I'm searching up the whole line. Yeah. Bad decks by Kevin everything. next week. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, Four to on the bench. And we're still waiting for our first episode. Yeah, it'll come. It'll come. Um, what's another skill deck? Um, I mean, you play Beak of Bulu, so that deck's got to be pretty easy to run. Um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. oh, no. the, the, the stage two is. Once you get them out, like they kind of run themselves. Yeah, yeah, like, no, they definitely run themselves. Like, like Metagross literally just takes energy from your discard pile, puts it on the active. Yeah, if like, you're not getting hexed, like I literally yeah. have a Bulu every turn. So it, yeah, it's, it's so even hard. if you knock it out, like yeah. it's it's not hard yeah. to to make that decision. No, it's All it's right. more so getting the getting to the stage two. And just make sure you have the energy. Yeah. All right. Well, we're gonna wrap that up and uh, put this one in the brown file where it belongs. And we're gonna dive right back into the next Reach course. on in there. Oh, he splashed some water on my face. That's saucy. I'm a hot boy. <laughs> this is done. I'm gonna leave you. <laughs> Why? No, that's like the worst. A hot boy. Ever. Hot boy. <laughs> that's the all I'm doing. Trainer Jared sure. from Facebook asks Can you cover the fact that things other than Garb performed well at Madison? Oh, so he wants us to talk about. The field in Madison. Okay, I mean, I think it was great Loved that it. Loved it. you know the My top. Favorite. There was like what twenty two guard variants in uh, top thirty two last in Seattle, and then yeah. we come to Madison, and there was like a handful. I think like I, under five, right? Yeah, yeah. I think there was ten. 
I don't know. I believe it's eight. Eight. Yeah, yeah. I believe I, Madden's number I, one. I don't really. I'm not impressed. <clears throat> How I see it is the good players. Like I said, the good players played Garb at Seattle, and then the good players played things that beat Garb at Madison. So it's just made it more diverse. Like, you know, with, with how good Garb, Garb was, yeah. I feel like a lot of the good players knew that people they were going to were, play. Were gonna play, gonna play. They were, well, they weren't going to play well enough to play around Garb. They're going to build so their they next Garb. So now this next one, they knew everybody, everyone's everyone going to play Garb. So yeah. they're like, oh, well, I'm going to vary. But, but look how many different variants of stuff that beat Garb. Yeah. Like, look how much yeah. beat, look, look how much stuff beats Garb. Like, I mean, yeah, it has good matchups. It has good matchups, and there's there's more than what we thought uh, that has good matchups to everything yeah. else because like Mega Ray. I mean, I mean, a lot of things like they admit if someone just played a standard deck, like like the Volcano, Azul said it like if he faced a Volcanian that played Max Elixirs and didn't care about Garb, he'd get ran over. Like, yeah. Yeah. so that factor is always there. Yeah. It's like. If it, the one guy who just dodges garb and just runs the, runs to the tournament with with his items is gonna always be there. But you have to you have to see that, and in a field of two hundred plus, yeah. like that's that's nearly impossible. I mean, someone did it. Nearly. So. That's yeah. Somebody did it. Best McQueen. Best McQueen. Yeah, yeah. Michael Brown got good. He said he had the perfect Brown. matchups all the that's, way through, though. Yeah. yeah, check out the interview I did with him um, on our YouTube channel as well if you haven't got a chance to. Yeah. But, but I mean, I think we'll that see. yeah, I'm, I think I'm. It's pretty good. I mean, a lot of stuff came out on top. Um, Garb Garb was played, eyes. but like you said, it wasn't played by the best players. No. I think people are starting to adapt on how to build their decks around Garb and play around them. And um, I think this time everyone played to beat Garb. Mm -hmm. And I think coming up in Mexico, people are gonna play to beat Metagross. And maybe um, Volcanian and possibly even um, Grass. I think Bulu, I think Bulu I think, is yeah. going to be a big thing, but the main reason is because no weakness. You playing Pokemon yeah. that have no weakness really doesn't matter, but you're hitting for weakness. So if you're playing Water Box, you're screwed. You're playing Mega Red, you run into uh, Tapu, Tapu Coco, you're screwed. You know, like it's, it's tough. It's tough, but it, you know. I don't know. I I like the diversity of of what's been going on. I'm just excited to see how much more diverse it can get. I think Madison was good for the the people that aren't that good, because now they see that these decks, other than Garb, can can be played. Right. So yeah. now it's going to open up the field. It's yeah. going to open up the field. People are like, oh, okay, I don't have to play Garb after Seattle. I mean, if you if you're not a top player and you're after Seattle and you aren't playing Garb, you're like, what, what were you, like, you're not, you you're weren't thinking right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, you, you, if you're not a top player, you're looking at Seattle going, I have to play Garb. But then after Madison, you see it's like, all right, Garb's good, but these decks are good. Now, now you have this spread of decks, like, all right, what am I going to play? Whatever's fun. I'm listening to you say that right now, but you refuse to play Garb when you I'm went. I'm still not playing. No, if I went, if I went to Seattle, no, I would never play. I'm never playing Garb. Period. <laughs> it doesn't like the card can literally say you win, and I wouldn't play. Like it's not happening. That, that Pokemon Garb is trash. Garb is not one of Zach's favorite. Piece of trash, and it's a dumb Pokemon, and it should never been made. <laughs> Plain simple. He lays owls that go pew pew. That's a little bit disrespectful, seeing as Unova version or the Unova region was based off of the United States. I don't care. So. Garbodor is an American Pokemon. Well, if you if you fine. look at it like that, <laughs> America's trash. Yeah, is that what they're trash. trying to say? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, that's not uh, my view on America. Yeah, no, but no, no. Let's, let's agree to disagree. <laughs> You're the one who said it. Yeah, no, no, no. I did not say that. No, you, you brought it up. No, you. you I said. So you're up. saying that? No. So, no. Nope, I like it. it. I think Gar Garbodor is good. I, I think, think it's great. good for the format. I think it's a cool card. I think it's a cool Pokemon. And I play it. And I play it. Yeah, yeah. I'll play it. Yeah, high fives for playing right. guard. We'll Woo! Take it. We'll take it. Yeah, okay. All right, well, uh, let's get into one more question here. Unless anyone wanted to add anything else to uh, that. All right, let's see here. Ivan Smith on YouTube asks, what is the best grass deck? Best grass deck. Well, personally, I don't consider 
Tapa Bula Vicavolt a grass deck because it's it would be the best if it, it, it's, it's Island Guardians. It's, well, no, you're running, but you're also yeah, it's Island Guardians first off. But you're no, you just have different. You're, you're you're running a dual type. You're running a dual type. So if you're going best straight grass type, best between of this format, you're going best between. Yeah, hundred percent. Hundred percent best between. Yeah. It, yeah. it was was in the finals both yeah. both regionals. Like. Second best grass deck. Second best grass deck. Decision what I love Uh no, I'm gonna say Lorantis Bulu. Bulu. Lorantis Bulu. No. I'm gonna say Lorantis Bulu. Lorantis Bulu. If we're going strictly grass, yeah. Lorantis Bulu. Yeah. And then and then because of the format, then we'll go third to Decidui Vileplume. I think Decidui Vileplume is still a good deck. I just yeah, I think you have to be three. really good to play it like okay. now. Like Adam a lot better than you used to have to be. Yeah, Iron Lock is always gonna be good as long as Forest is around. The problem is Hex Maniac is like, but like Hex is always, I don't know. I think people are just going to play Hex a lot. That's why I say it. Is it, is it going to be a two off in a lot of decks now? Or do you think Probably. skilled players Everyone can still play? Everyone thought that Hex was going to be super huge right after Decidueye came Yeah, out, but the problem... It only is, amped it up to like maybe two per yeah, deck. Yeah, but like, like, you didn't have Lele. Like, Lele let you find it. Like, it's cool if you play Hex in your deck, but... Good luck. You you have no draw support. But then you're gonna you're items. gonna have to increase your lele count too because you can't ultra ball every time. Like if you're already item locked, you need to have that lele. How many? Well, how most decks are playing two or three leles? How yeah. many more do you no, need? No, I know. Yeah, you need to be. But you need to be playing three. Yeah, that's no, that's what I'm saying. Like I mean, you, <coughs> you hex and then you play your versus here. You get your hex back. Mm, like yeah. I mean, it's definitely. But with the and then you just don't advance your board state yeah, at all. Yeah, you just don't, yeah, you don't advance your board state. You just hex them. Like okay, cool. I'm not I mean, gonna you, do anything. I mean, you can't. It matters. Like it matters. It all. But you always have hex in your hand if you need it. I mean, you play all your items. It's so impossible to have hex always in your hand if you're trying to set up your board at the same time. I mean, sure. I'm, I'm not gonna argue this. So we do agree the best for queen is the best grass deck. Agreed. Yeah, what, why is it so good all of a sudden out of nowhere? I mean, it's been good, but what is choice man make it that much better? Um, choice I mean, helps. choice man helps. Um, choice man's uh, pretty gnarly. In adding it. adding Zoroark back into it, um, Zoroark just becomes so much better because. You're a lot of people are you're, you're stretching out your bench and you have you're able to bust in with it You're it just has versatility. You're using a dark type. So you're hitting different weakness You know, it's it plays a ton of Pokemon plays and it plays. Yeah. Yeah, it, it just increases thing. Yeah, it, it just increases the amount of Pokemon that you're playing. You're so not, you're not <coughs> You don't have to play as many items your damage base is off your Pokemon so you're still playing a ton of items. I mean, though. you're, you're playing a ton of items, but like you're able to, you're, to your damage is based deck. off your yeah. Pokemon. You're, yeah. you're moving so fast. You have the ability to move faster your first two turns, and then at that point, you attack first, and you're good. Yeah. And even you're if you're playing, them. even if if you're playing against something like Garb, like yeah. if you're winning the prize race because you're attacking first, then who cares if you've just burnt through those items? Like they're you're gonna, knocked out, like, then I'm knocked out, then you're knocked out, then I'm knocked HP, out. Like. like but if if they've got ninety, yeah, yeah, ninety. Yeah, I'm like so you only low. have ninety, you're gonna die. Yeah. yeah. So All right. Well, we'll put that in the round file where it goes and um, wrap that up for the night. Um, we'd like to give a special thanks to our sponsors, Top of Kiku Cards. That's thanks, right. Guys. Um, and uh, make sure you guys catch all our YouTube stuff on Sacker Scoop on YouTube. We're also on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch. You can catch me streaming many nights a week on Twitch, PTCGO Live. And um, once again, this is the top table. Thank you for watching, but it's time to scoop it up. Oh.